are we going to have a convention that's about you know Angelina Jolie, Hugh Jackman? Well, that's great, but it really diminishes the artists. And uh, so in Mexico, where we have um, many uh, wonderful panels, they have. Um, I think if you show the next picture. Anyway, Sergio was a uh, guest many times, and he's from Mexico City originally. He was, well, he's born in Spain, but lived in France, but he grew up in Mexico City. So he, for Sergio, Mexico uh, is a small town of 20 million, you know? <laughs> and uh, it really is great because, you know, we, we really get a good crowd, and they really care about the work, the books. And so here we are with Oscar Gonzalez and Lou Harrison. Lou was, uh, she loved Mexico because they never had the Beatles. They never, they never played in Mexico City. So they thought well, Lou Harrison's coming to Mexico City. They treated her like she was Paul McCartney or you know, John Lennon or whatever. So she really had a good time. This is a. Pyramid Charlie's, that's my winged tiger with the winged cow. And this is at the pyramids in Mexico. And uh, I urge everyone here, if you haven't been to Mexico City, go. It's a really wonderful place. And this is Sergio and our tiger. This is a few years ago. He's still happy. And uh, this is Taiwan. And then I started to travel more and more. My father's from China, and I started going back to China in 1979. But in the 90s, I started going back for our tour. Not like American, we take uh, Angelina Jolie and Hugh Jackman seriously. <laughs> but we don't really respect the artist, the writer, the person who creates. Nothing against Angelina or Hugh. but. I guess what I'm uh, trying to say uh, and hoping that this convention that Mike has uh, put on can return San Diego an alternative. You know, we can create something else that's an alternative to, I think it's very simple. Just keep the movie stars, the TV stars, the video games, all the rest. That, that, that can be San Diego, the big Comic Con, and then we'll have this convention grow for the artists, the writers, and we can have people uh, more seriously interested in that. And maybe we can bring students. I first uh, attended San Diego Comic Con at 14 years of age in 1970. It was the first convention, and I met um, uh, two people that changed my life. I met Jack Kirby, and I met um, Ray Bradbury. And I, both of those men uh, enabled me to be inspired and, and uh, I didn't realize how easy it was to be an artist. They just, Jack Kirby said, just do it. And so I did. I started my own company a few months later. And uh, this is in Japan also. We brought our little tiger, which took a big uh, case to carry. This is in Italy in Bologna at the Children's Book Fair in Italy. This is the most prestigious children's book festival in the world. And I was a guest of honor, I don't know how that happened. And uh, this is really an amazing uh, place in Bologna, Italy. Really was uh, wonderful. And then the, this is what I was doing there. I was painting a giant mural can see these. The, the one girl, I think this girl uh, in the foreground, she actually met me when she was seven. And uh, I was painting a mural in Washington, D.C. And she was seven years old. And her father is a publisher from England. And there she was at 16. And uh, I put her to work immediately. And Danny here met me when he was 17, right? In Walla Walla, Washington. And today, Danny's a lawyer in LA. Very famous. So here we have uh, the murals taking place. And 
And this is another uh, young lady from Holland. And uh, again, you know, people come from all around the world to these. It's a chance to meet artists, to meet writers, to talk to them, and it's more relaxed. Now, yes, it doesn't have, you know, the bells and whistles and all those video games and all the rest of it. But I think that that has got to be an alternative. And I don't know if Long Beach, you know, I have only attended the first one. I don't know the Long Beach, you know, it's going that direction because I don't know, you know, I, I haven't been last year. Um, I, but I do know that most of the ones that I do go to, everyone is trying too hard to, you know, have a, a celebrity, you know, a movie star or whatever. And in fact, some of these conventions have so many celebrities, you know, signing, you know, autographs and stuff. And I, I think, what does this have to do with what I do? You know, it's very much a disconnect. I saw that Stan Lee was charging like $75 for an autograph. And it's really, really sad to me because, you know, that $75 you could spend on a book or many books. And so I, I, that's, you know, I, I'm really against that. So I'm against Stanley. Put that in. <laughs> the record. I don't really respect him. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one thing looking at your presentation that, that occurs to me, a comment and then a question, is that, of course, in some ways, because you are going to foreign countries and they have learned the second language, mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in a way you're, you're promoting literacy in some ways in a different level. In other words, here you're just trying to get people to read books. There they're already reading books, but they're also picking up another language to read even more books, right. so to speak. Uh, so I guess one question I would have, and, 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 and here the whole question, is do you feel that you're in a, in a way just kind of preaching to the choir, or do you feel more like, pardon the analogy, uh, by making sure that they're satisfied, that they're uh, that they're encouraged that uh, that literacy will in turn trickle down <coughs> to the people who can't afford to come to uh, the, the foreign conventions. Uh, you know, the, the native people who can't come to foreign conventions. In their country? Yeah. Well, um, first of all, their conventions are either free to get into, that's another thing I should mention, uh, or they're very minimal cost to get into. Uh, unlike our conventions, they charge quite a bit of money. To, 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 you know, I don't know because I don't pay, but you know, most of them are charging quite a bit. These uh, other countries, they don't charge that much to get in. Um, so it's really interesting because you meet all, you know, you meet pretty poor people, but they're in the convention, and so they can't always buy our books, but. They, they can buy something or, you know, some, some, some book or something. But I think what's more important is just the exposure. They can meet an artist from another country. Because what I'm really doing when I'm speaking at the schools is I'm telling them, my friends, they created Superman. Jack Kirby created the whole Marvel Universe. I didn't even mention Stan. Um, what I'm trying to do is encourage them I'm saying you are Malaysian. You create, you know, something from Malaysia, or you create something from Singapore or Mexico or whatever. Because I really believe that comics are the greatest way to express yourself, especially for young people, and especially because I have so many friends who are dirt poor, nothing. And Matt Green is a good example. He's an ex-friend. Um, uh, well, you know, some people change when they get rich, but. They, when you're dirt poor, you can draw a simple, you know, let's just take Matt, you know, The Simpsons. And, you know, it can go on to become very successful. So that's really inspiring because I know personally so many artists who started, you know, in Walla Walla, Washington. You know, you don't know where an artist can come from anywhere, anywhere and have nothing, but he draws and he has an idea. And that's what I try to share everywhere, because it's so important, ideas. That's why I'm mad at the 
Comic Con because okay, Angelina Jolie is great. I don't want to pick up this one, but you know that's great. But what does it have to do with the creative process? How to create? You know, and that's why I'm you know trying to bring it back to you know the creative process, the ideas. Ray Bradbury, you know, he he was so such an inspiration to me because here was a guy who really wrote very directly, but he just changed the world, you know, his ideas, you know. It, it, to show you, Bradbury tells a great story. Um, when the man landed on the moon, 